Hello guys, today I'll be doing a review uh, per request from Cliff the Lightning and uh, it's a transformer and there you have it this is the Omnibot, the Autobot Omnibot Overdrive um, I think it was released somewhere in between the mid 80s as a mail away exclusive and uh, he came along with uh, two other uh, omnibots called camshaft and downshift and this is overdrive and uh, i think he's uh, ferrari 308 i'm not sure perhaps some of you guys know it um, and as you can see he has a quite nice car mode and uh, there are some nice details as you can see <clears throat> and of course you can see his insides from the front shield and the side and um, of course you can see all the panel linings and they don't match up that evenly on, uh, on these Omnipod figures but uh, it's probably because there were these, uh, well, cheap mail away exclusives. So uh, the quality isn't quite on par with uh, the likes of Pro, Jazz, Smokescreen, uh, etc. Uh, but still, overall, he's a nice figure. Has a nice camo, rolls quite good, freely. Get him to stop. And uh, mine's missing a couple of stickers, but uh, that's okay. Um, the Omnibots were some of the first you could call triple changes because they had three modes. And uh, this one also has a third mode. Uh, just have a look here. On the other side, you can see these black things, black panels. They open up and flip out like this and there you have uh, a wing and we do that on the other side and uh, mine bends a bit there two wings yeah it isn't that great mine is a bit loose due to age but hey what are you gonna do and um, then he can fly and he also is armed. You can see this um, panel. You can flip around like this, and you have guns, laser guns. So now he's armed and dangerous, and he flies. <laughs> so, well, while not officially being called a uh, Triple changer. Most fans do agree that uh, the Omnibots were the first one with with this kind of feature, um, along with tracks. Well, you could say tracks is a triple changer also because he can also fly and la la la. But well, I won't go into further detail with that. And um, just flip these things back. Go on inside, and so um, yeah, I do have his weapons, but mine are still on sprue, as you can see, and I'm not feeling like breaking them off. But here you can see some of his weapons. Very nice chrome, nicely detailed. Indeed. Yep. Uh, to transform this guy into robot mode, first you do, or first thing you have to do is, well, this is how I do it flip out the wings for easier access, and then there's this kind of red thingy. Pull that out and flip it up. Yep. And then you take 
this section and just lift off. And then it looks like this. And then there's quite a nifty feature because his arms need to bend inward. So what you do is just pull out the arms a bit um, like that. If you don't know if you can see this, uh, it's not that great, but like this. And you have to align them and then you turn them in. You can see the wheel goes inside. And uh, you might have to be a bit careful because it is a delicate figure. Plastics aren't that great. Um, do that on the other side. It's a bit more tight, this one. So I'm just trying to do it carefully without snapping or breaking anything. Uh, just have to turn it more and help it a bit on its way. <laughs> well, this one bends a lot. Well, I think that's it. So now he looks like this underneath. You can see his wheels facing forward. Then flip him around and click the legs into place like that and like that. And then we have his feet. Flip them out like this so we can stand. And then you have this whole section, you just turn around. I should probably do it like this. So, rip. And you just uh, move it so it clicks into place like that. So, and as on many of the other Autobot cards, cards, cars to flip out his head, you just pull down the windshield. And the arms out, fold them down. Uh, remember to pull uh, the wings out before taking the arms down because else they won't go down straight. This is probably a bit bad due to my black t-shirt, but I think you can see what I mean. And do that on the other side. And then... <laughs> he's a bit fiddly, also because mine is quite old, so he's a bit loose. A bit places, or some places, so... Uh, I'll just put him in position for you. So, there you have Omnibot Overdrive. And if you're gonna see his face, quite nice. Yep, but there you have him. This is Omnibot Overdrive in robot mode. He's a nice figure. Um, I whoops, yeah, mine has a bit loose legs, uh, but he overall is a good figure, and I do recommend it him if you want the Omnibot. So um, feel free to go ahead and purchase one, and of course. His chest gun moves out. Da da! Yep, that was about it. I hope you enjoyed having a look at this figure. Overdrive. <laughs>